health is happiness and uh, having a healthy childhood is more important and it is the happiness of the family as well. Uh, so today I'm going to tell you how to have a healthy intestine and healthy stomach and we know that uh, a good set of bowel, so when we call that good set of bowel, bowel is abdomen. So good set of bowel is more important than any amount of brain. So having a healthy stomach is very important. So viewers, today I'm going to tell you five important things which can uh, make your child happy in terms of intestine. Having an adequate gap between bed and breakfast. So no one is ready immediately after getting up from bed. So we need some time to settle down and also have an intestine ready to accept food. So at least there should be one to one and a half hours gap between bed and breakfast. So you should not force your child to eat something immediately just because he has to catch bus to the school. Ideally there should be one to one and a half hour gap between bed and breakfast. having a single time full breakfast in the morning, preferably at home. So these days because of change in lifestyle, uh, the breakfast is actually split into installments. Child is given something immediately after getting up and then given a small proportions over a period of time and sometimes child gets a full breakfast somewhere around 10, 10.30 in the school. So this is not a good idea. So we should have a full breakfast in the morning. Milk, yes, it is very nutritious, but not very essential as believed by many. So milk sometimes irritates the stomach. So taking it as a first thing in the empty stomach, which is preferred by most families, is not a very good idea. So you would have experienced whenever you go to a physician or a pediatrician if with stomach issues, they would cut down on the milk or try to avoid milk in the empty stomach. So try to avoid milk as a first thing in the morning. I consider it as one of the important things. So uh, this include emptying the bowel, that is defecating or pooping in the morning rather than carrying it in the body throughout the day. So because of many reasons, children may not empty bowel in the morning. Either they are late or they don't have the urge. So these are the reasons why they don't, don't do that. But they should, they should ideally pass stools in the morning. So when we get up or immediately after the breakfast, there will be intense urge to pass stools and they should make use of that so that they go empty to the school. Otherwise, they'll be carrying it there may be repeated urge to pass in the school while they are going in the bus. So uh, then they try to hold because the situation is not very convenient. So then this leads to a lot of stomach issues. So emptying the bowel in the morning is one of the very important things. Everyone should follow this and it should be inculcated in the children also. If they have very short time between getting up and having uh, going to school, try to make them wake up early so that they have enough time in the morning to do all these morning rituals. Other important thing which may not be feasible every time, so having a quick workout in the morning. So either in the morning or sometimes if it is not possible late in the evening, regular workout, vigorous exercise where child will be sweating, child will be very breathless. So it's a continuous activity like some kind of sports. So which keeps the child active, energetic and also it stimulates the body and it has very various other health benefits. Thanks for watching this video. I hope uh, these five points are very useful and uh, you would be inculcating yourself and also making your child uh, do all these things and also share with others, uh, your colleagues, peers, uh, uh, whoever has a kid or adolescent uh, child in their home uh, so that they can also have the benefits of these happy and healthy lifestyle.